Hello Sagittarius, it's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be your monthly reading for October. Keep in mind Sagittarius, uh, this reading could play out at any point in time throughout the month of October. This reading may or may not be for you. Um, energies can be swapped around, so swap around the energies, the characters to make yourself fit, but do not cram yourself into a message that is not meant for you. Also keep in mind, um, Sag, that this is for any major Sagittarius placements like Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This could even resonate for a Sagittarius North Node or 10th house or Jupiter. So if you're drawn to this reading because of the title, there's likely a message in here for you. And don't forget to cross watch anybody that you might be dealing with. Uh, there could be extended messages in the other readings. So I'm switching things up because October is one of my favorite months because we have Halloween. Um, I chose to use the Halloween Oracle deck uh, for this month's messages along with the beautiful creatures, kind of has a Halloween-y feel. And um, I will clarify as need be using the witch's tarot. So let's jump in, Sagittarius, and see what kind of a message needs to come through for you for the month of October. Apple. What I want to say is temptation has a high price. Midnight. The most magical hour of all. And so I feel this divine timing energy, Sagittarius. I think of midnight. I think of uh, Cinderella at the ball and um, leaving her glass slipper behind. And maybe you've been waiting for perhaps your Prince Charming. Um, but I feel uh, something about divine timing with the clock. Um, the witching hour, the final hour, and I feel temptation does have a high price. I think risk and reward, and we look at the heart. So uh, maybe you were tempted in the past. Something to do with the heart and a level of heart purification. I think of the apple, I think of Adam and Eve, and uh, the snake energy, kundalini energy as well. So let's see what else needs to come through for you. I'm going to get you one um, Halloween Oracle message and we will channel the energies at the bottom of the deck as well. So uh, main energies for my Sagittarius Collective, please, for the month of October. The main energies for Sagittarius, please. Okay, infinite possibilities. The skull of the stars, beautiful. So I always think of death energy with skulls. Um, so I feel tapping into um, some cosmic intelligence, the vast cosmic infinite possibilities, manifestation energy, and winter. So Scorpio got winter. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Sag, or you could have Scorpio in your chart. So the sacredness of pause. You could be going into the dark night of the soul. You could be going into um, some transformation energy, the cosmic womb, in order to tap in to some infinite possibilities. It, it is within the void, the dark, the cosmic womb, that all creation exists and that new creation uh, can be manifested. So let's read into the book when it comes to the skull of the stars and these infinite possibilities because this is where i feel uh, you're headed towards sagittarius we think so small why think so small when galaxies spin within realize that you are made of the stuff of the stars and infinite possibilities begin and so the skull energy is bringing you back to this fact that we are all made of stuff from the, sky, from the sky, from the stars. We all have this cosmic intelligence within us. Um, and so, yet so many of us think and play small. And so we are each born with this possible blank canvas to paint upon. And we are indeed an open sky of possibilities. So it is so easy to fall back into patterns and feel small in this world and become so distracted with the busyness of seemingly impersonal things which can lead us down the path pathway of, of being self-absorbed. And so we can at times feel so lost and unclear about our direction and lose sight of our place in the cosmic uh, universe. And so the skull of stars is coming forward in October to remind you that you are only limited by your own imagination and your own boundaries. If you can dream it, 
and you can believe it, then it is possible. And so the energy in October, I feel, is indicating that you need to think bigger and more broadly about your future and what it is that you would like to achieve. Perhaps there are false beliefs, often old, deeply rooted childhood false beliefs that no longer serve you that need to be shed in order to grow and change. And so sometimes these beliefs are so deeply rooted they might not even be yours. So these could be ancestral beliefs. I'm feeling mother wound. And these could have been imparted on you by your mother or your father or a wider maybe religious community. And so these feel rather incongruent to you. And so you need to endeavor upon shedding the old with all of your heart and your soul. Remember that apple with the heart? You are here to live the life that you want, but you have to honor your own wishes and your own personal truth. So I think a, a shedding, a deep shedding of the old. So let's jump in with the tarot. I'm gonna do things a little bit different. I'm only gonna pull five cards this time and we're gonna clarify a little bit deeper uh, as need be with the witch's tarot. But we're gonna get your current energy, a message from your higher self, uh, near future potential energies, what's hidden below the surface, something that you don't see, but it's right there below the surface and a potential overall outcome for the month. So let's see what needs to come through for you. So, um, oh, my gut just like dropped. So uh, there's a tower. Um, this change has been avoided up until now. So. The decadence, uh, there's a need to release any overindulgent behavior. The tower reversed comes in to disrupt your inner world. It is unavoidable change. It is Mars energy. So I feel uh, Mars retrograde is going to be a period of winter for my Sagittarius uh, to release any poverty consciousness. Five of Pentacles, this could be a Sagittarius uh, out there going through some financial struggles as well and could be experiencing some financial poverty, um, which is going to shift somebody's uh, belief systems from the inside out. And so transforming, right? Look at that all-seeing eye um, potion. <laughs> I don't potion. Uh, we have the ability to tap into these um, energies, these cosmic energies, and I feel something needs to break down a false foundation, a false belief, in order to break free from a lack mentality, um, some, some limits, in order to tap into these infinite possibilities. So I think we got a Sag here going through a tower. Something is coming to an end, and uh, you're going to have to rebuild on solid ground. So uh, we're gonna get your current energy, Sagittarius. Current energy for Sagittarius, please. Three of Swords, disappointment, heartbreak. Oh my gosh. Uh, the Queen of Swords reversed and uh, the Ten of Swords in reverse. So a, f a finality. Something is not right, something is not fair. Um, this could be uh, releasing some sacred rage. The Queen of Swords in reverse can be malicious, angry, bitter, vengeful because of an injustice, because of something that was not fair. When it comes to maybe a betrayal, uh, what's hidden below the surface is the Four of Wands reversed. There's like this lack of unity consciousness. Uh, this could be the breakdown of a foundation, beliefs for sure. The Four of Wands is a foundation. There's a breakdown of a false foundation. I feel your higher self is saying you're very angry at something that's been unjust and unfair. I'm not taking all of those. But I feel um, a shift in perceptions. I want to say get ready to go down the rabbit hole. Get ready to go down the rabbit hole. Uh, the house of cards is falling. The house of cards is falling apart uh, when it comes to maybe a foolish decision resistance to taking a leap of faith. I feel you're lacking drive, determination to find your will to go forward. And uh, there's going to be a revelation or wake up call when it comes to a very greedy situation. Greed, withholding, miser energy, fear of taking a leap of faith. I think facing your fears, um, major wake up call. The moon upright is illusions, delusions, fear. 
and uh, breaking free from fear, procrastination, breaking free from an illusion, something that's been concealed in the dark is coming to light. I also feel anger, um, anger, disappointment, angry over a disappointment. So I think get ready for um, this stabbing feeling in your heart. Uh, something is going to activate a heart chakra awakening. I do think uh, it's going to be a very painful experience but it is going to bring forward a, a reset a very difficult uh karmic cycle coming to a close in order to shift your perceptions but uh we're going to get an overall outcome i think that was just a side message there i wasn't taking that many cards for an overall outcome so an overall outcome please eight of wands messages so bottom of the deck seven of swords in reverse treachery um, that, that's what was concealed, some form of manipulation, stealing, thieving, cheating, some sort of um, treachery, maybe dealing with a Scorpio um, when it comes to this transformation. Maybe you're gaining a new perspective about a Scorpio that you've been dealing with. Uh, the, the 13 in reverse is like um, coming out of the death, the death energy as well. Maybe something from the past coming back from the dead. Somebody that you feel uh, betrayed you or deceived you that left you in a state of utter disappointment and defeat. Uh, a new perception is being gained. But I feel um, you're very angry. You're angry about an unjust situation. Maybe you've been living in denial when it comes to a final ending when it comes to the breakdown of a false foundation and maybe you've not actually gone into the depths of the, of the pain of the ending. And this is a month of clearing this past betrayal. So maybe this will lead to some messages. Uh, get ready to receive a message about maybe a past betrayal near future. It's like that final nail in the coffin. That final nail in the coffin for you to put the past to bed once and for all is kind of what I'm feeling, Sagittarius. So uh, let's look into this disappointment, this Three of Swords. Um, it's feeling very heavy. I think a lot of scattered thoughts as you tap into these infinite possibilities, though. So some cosmic truth, cosmic disclosure. I think uh, with the maple leaf, I could be speaking to a Canadian. doesn't have to be, uh, but I'm just mentioning that. Okay, so the Seven of Pentacles in reversed and the High Priestess. So somebody's wasted a lot of time, I think, uh, staying stuck somewhere, stuckness. Um, it is also the energy of needing to... Uh, plan well and plant seeds. Um, you can't stay where you're at. It's not fertile ground anymore. And so whatever this heart disappointment is, I feel it's going to get you to really go within and listen to your inner guidance right now. The high priestess goes within. It's a very singular energy. Going within, listening to the inner guidance, deciding where to plant these seeds for the future could be dealing with the Pisces. But I do feel... There was some um, heartbreak and disappointment over the past, maybe due to a third party, but I feel that's over. That's done. Maybe there's going to be a lot of gossip surrounding a disappointment. Um, but I feel getting honest, honesty about a third party disappointment, uh, healing from a third party disappointment in the past. I feel it's, it's like the party's over. The party's over. Uh, this could be the cancellation of an engagement, uh, the breakdown of a social circle. I think there's going to be some gossip, and you're going to want to go within. I think there's gossip about holding on to a third-party situation uh, that's been, you know, it's been dead. It's There's no growth. It's really not going anywhere, really not a good investment. And you're going to have to go within and heal from a disappointment. Um, let's take a look at this Queen of Swords in reverse. We get the Four of Wands in reverse. So you're cutting something out. I think your higher self is saying, get honest with yourself. This this situation is not fair. The situation is not balanced. Um, this is going to break down your beliefs. I think somebody's thought about this for a long time. The Two of Wands in reverse stuck at a crossroads. And I think... Um, and maybe staying stuck for as long as you have, it's going to lead to a huge loss. I feel this could lead to total financial ruin. 
This could mean filing a bankruptcy of some sort. Uh, something is not just, something is not fair. And um, it's gonna, I feel this energy of feeling like the rug's getting pulled out from under you. And this could be somebody wanting to lash out and being vengeful too over a past betrayal. But there's a connection here where it's just not in alignment anymore. It was a false start and we can't stay stuck, right? We've been shown it's time to move on, uh, finalizing this ending. So let's take a look at this final nail in the coffin. Because this is a situation that's been needing to die away for quite some time in order for a transformation. And I feel, yeah, so uh, there's been resistance to stepping onto the healing path. Uh, come out sideways, the star reverse. So it could be dealing with an Aquarius or somebody with Aquarius in, in their chart. Um, there's been resistance to leaving something behind. And so the Five of Pentacles, I feel a lack mindset. There's a money mindset that needs to be healed when it comes to maybe a victim mentality. You might be feeling like a victim of your circumstances, um, but we do all have to take accountability for what we create, right? It always takes two to tango. And I think um, feeling foolish uh, when it comes to thinking maybe this was your happily ever after. There's this energy of feeling abandoned in your time of need, um, but this is going to allow you to uh, get it together. I think whatever finality is being exposed when it comes to a very hurtful, painful, betraying situation, maybe with a Cancer or an Aquarius, I'm not sure, but you're gonna be quickly moving in a new direction. And uh, there's going to be um, some very honest truth spoken. I feel somebody making a final judgment call. This King of Swords is yielding that sword. This is a double-edged sword. It is the sword of truth. It's also the sword that severs. I think something is getting eclipsed out of your life. This is the energy of the past coming back around. Judgment energy. And maybe somebody's going to be all up in their feelings. I think releasing something that is definitely not wish fulfillment. And going towards what it is that you do deserve. But I think there's fear because I don't think you can see what is going to be your wish fulfillment. I think there's fear because you can't quite see what's on the other side of leaving this out in the cold. So we're going to clarify the four of wands in reverse. Um, that, you know, double four of wands in reverse. There's just no unity here. There's no equality. There's no more working together. And there's going to be a realignment there is going to be an ending. A false foundation is crumbling to the ground. And this could be beliefs, money beliefs, something that I think you spent a lot of time building for a legacy and it's crumbling because it was built on ashes and there's going to be a realignment. And this is divinely going to change because you deserve commitment. You deserve, you deserve a, a loyal higher commitment. So uh, Taurus energy, the Hierophant, the highest authority is saying it's time for this realignment because there's no unity here and you've been juggling for a long time or somebody's been juggling you playing games with you for a long time I think you've been self-sabotaging self-sacrificing and I feel uh that you've got nobody to blame but yourself is what they want me to say and so this realignment is coming it is kind of feeling with the two of wands in reverse the two of pentacles in reverse it's feeling like the rug's getting pulled out Twos are about decisions, crossroads, pivot points, uh, relationships, partnerships, and there's a better there's a better way here. So somebody's getting the rug pulled out from under them for juggling, for not deciding. There is an infinite connection though with the infinity sign. So this is breaking the chains of some maybe some past life karma. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands. There's going to be a lot of messages back and forth, back and forth, I feel. And we get the Ace of Cups in reversed. A lot of things going on. A lot of messages back and forth, I think. Um, a, a Sagittarius here going through a Heart Chakra awakening. A Heart Chakra purging. Learning to love themselves. Mastering self-love with the Nine of Wands in reverse. That's the Wounded Healer. You're going to have... A coming to Jesus moment in order to heal a, a core wound, a core belief, in order to go through a period of enlightenment and, and to understand what it is you need to release that's not wish fulfillment, what is unhealthy, what is addictive to you. I feel somebody here that's been all about me, 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 and maybe you've walked away from everything not serving you, but I feel it's time to release a, a self-serving energy 
in order to tap into the vastness of your cosmic intelligence. Pisces energy. You could be dealing with the Pisces. I feel a masculine here all up in his feelings. Uh, getting ready to make a judgment call maybe about a reconciliation as well. There could be a lot of truth coming in um, as somebody decides to take charge of a situation and maybe face their fears and come in with a solid offer as well. The Emperor, Divine Masculine, Aries Energy, the Moon Reverse. So there's going to be a revelation of some sort about some past treachery that is going to bring forward uh, some very emotional, truthful messages. Let's get you a couple last messages uh, with the uh, self-care deck. So, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Strong Pisces, uh, Aquarius again. So, it could be dealing with one of those signs. You could have one of those signs in your chart. But I do feel um, dealing with some disappointment for sure. So, we're going to see what else needs to come through for you, Sagittarius. One last message. Ooh, that one went flying. A divine power is at play in the month of October. Every moment of your life has been woven into this intricate tapestry. And right now, your guides are helping you to progress along your spiritual journey. So you're going to need to trust in the power of the divine as they're moving you through a very painful cycle, learning the energy of humility so you can find your confidence again. So a month of striving for balance, uh, for balance, a lot of energy is being channeled in and out of your, uh, of your vessel in the month of October. So consciously bringing something into the light, integrating, uh, a spiritual practice. So I think get ready to bow to the mystery of this transformative journey. I think this is a month of reflecting on the blessings that you do have in order to deal with these negative uh, issues in your life that have been coming up recently, kind of to get the lens of illusion uh, to peel back. So I do think October is going to bring some challenges, but the challenges might even bring you one of your greatest teachers to help you learn about yourself at a very deep soul level in order for you to live more consciously and authentically. And that's what I've got, Sagittarius. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, please check out the description box below. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.